What's up, music world? My name is Eric Seeks, and I love J. Ross TV, man. What's up, y'all? This your boy, J. Ross in St. Louis, 10 million strong, hanging out with the master drummer, Mr. Eric Seeks, in town, hitting with Layla Hathaway, which y'all know from Patti LaBelle, Soul Seekers, and all that type of noise. So we're going to get right into it. Hey, E, now you, you, you play for all these different artists, different genres. How did you uh, build your library up to be able to just cross genres like that? Wow. I don't, I don't think I planned that out. That's something that just unfolded. I, I, I didn't know what my steps were going to be, but, you know, I made that sacrifice to My very first tour was Montel Jordan, and it just seems like a blur after that. Everything was kind of just a snowball effect. Somebody seen, sure. you know, saw you play somewhere, and y'all make that connection, and the next thing you know, you um, playing on another band. But I had a, a, a great leader ahead of me named Chef Cropper, man. He was my first music director, and he kind of, he put me on most of the gigs that I've been on thus far, man. So, a shout out to Chef Cropper, man. All right, now growing up, did you always know you wanted to be a drummer? I did. My dad was a drummer, man, so we had drums in the house, in the living room, and in the kitchen. Just all, all while I was growing up, I heard I could play, you know, before I could talk good. So um, I, 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 just, I knew I wanted to do it. It's the most natural thing that comes to me, you know what I mean? So being the way you are, was your parents very supportive of you very being a musician? So. Very much so. Um, I'm, they've never not been supportive of me. Um, I was afforded the opportunity to go to a performing arts high school and, oh, yeah. and got a full ride to Cal Arts Institute, Valencia, California. Um, and after that, you know, started touring with childhood buddy John B. And then after just getting it in, man, getting it in. Um, but it's been a blessing, man. God. So now what kind of advice can you get like the young cats coming up in school now on what to prepare, how to prepare themselves for professionalism? Take it serious, man. Take it serious. Um, I know it's going to sound cliche, but you, you got to you know, go hard. Well, I don't mean go hard, like smashing all the time. But right. you, give your best. Give your all at all times because you, whether it's a big crowd or a small crowd, uh, quality is better than quantity. So, I mean, uh, and, and really, I, you play from your heart. You know, you're not going to always end up playing your own drum set. So you got to adjust fast or whatever is there. But um, when you love what you do, it'll, it'll sound good. I mean, you know what I mean? Play from your heart and passion. At all times, man. Now you repping uh, Spawn drums? Yeah, Spawn drums. Now why them? Hey, I'll tell you why. Uh, because of quality drums. I played many, many drum kits. Um, I've been to Spawn maybe about seven years now. I, I love the way they sound. Um, and, and, and I love the relationship that I have with the guys. Brian, shout out to Brian, Spawn, and, and Dave. Um, very helpful guys. Check out spondrums.com. Quality drums, man, for sure. Quality hardware, too. Yeah. Now, I know drums, soul tone cymbals, Vader sticks, kick port. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, you know. Hey, but now coming up though, like, uh, what did you practice on mainly? Kind of like you got that old dynamic playability. I love how my mom listened to her kind of music in her car, um, which is probably more pop and uh, you know, kind of lighter music than my dad was R&B, funk, and jazz. Yeah. It's a nice balance of music being played in the house. Um, big band, I appreciate Big Band era. That's, I have my own Big Band in LA. Yeah. Uh, but it, it just being well-rounded and diverse is important to me uh, because you might have to play with one artist, but every song is a different genre. Big, like Miss Patti LaBelle. Oh yeah. Layla Hathaway. They, they, it's, it fluctuates in the styles of the show. Yes. So what's up next for you, Biggie? Hey man, uh, the Sam Ash tour. Next great drummer. Any drummer and guitarist. We're doing a guitar search this year too as well. So any drummers, man, that want to showcase, come win prizes, network with other musicians and guitarists. Musicians, period. Y'all just come down. Check out nextgreatdrummer.com. We, we're going to do another tour this year at Sam Ash Music Stores worldwide. Um, something to pay attention to. We are now international, man. Oh, yeah. It's a lot going on. We have a huge drummer fan, not even fan base, it's a family base. I don't want to use that word. We, because I, I remember who I was before I started doing this. Um, I, I didn't always tour. So I, I appreciate these things and I, I kind of just want to give advice or whatever we can do to help. I call other pro judges in to come. Um, we give them, you know, we direct them in that, you know, the way that they need to head professionally. Oh, yeah. Not just talent wise. We all can play. We come a dime a dozen. Any one of y'all can be in my spot in a minute. I know that. So I, I meet those drummers everywhere we go, man. I, you know, 
But at the end of the day, it's just professionalism and networking, man. So that's what we do. We bring to the table. Give y'all, we afford y'all that opportunity and provide you that, you know, that area so you can showcase your thing, man. Xraydrummer.com is serious. All right, y'all, that's words of wisdom from super drummer Eric Seats in St. Louis. Here with Miss Layla Hathaway, y'all. We're going to let them bounce. J. Ross TV, 10 million strong. We gone. Peace. Peace, peace, and I'm out.